Well, it was really quite crap out there tonight actually. Um, it's a Saturday night, people out in the town as they usually do. Um, I'm sat on the mooring. Uh, it's actually blowing old boots outside and I've been on the berth this evening really whilst working on installing my diesel heater. Uh, I've been here most of the afternoon Saturday and basically called it a day at about nine o'clock in the evening. Uh, I'd had enough by then I'll be honest. Um, and I've basically what I'm doing is actually installing one of the Chinese copies of the Wabastos and things like that. Again, mixed bag of ratings on them, um, but I'm quite encouraged so far. And you know, we'll just see how it goes. If nothing else, you know, if it goes to the bad, at least we've got the infrastructure in place for maybe putting a Wapasto in in the future. The first headache for me was where to mount it. And uh, so I came up with some ideas on that. But also, then, it was um, how I was going to support the actual burning unit. So whilst it comes with a base plate as standard, um, that was fine and dandy, but it didn't really help me with my mounting ideas because really I couldn't mount this on the floor or anything like that, as you might be able to do in, say, for example, a camper. So in this instance, what I had to do really was come up with some sort of bracket, uh, which again was a very sort of Heath Robinson approach, but it seemed to do the job. Well, the next headache to be overcome was the exhaust pipe system. Um, you can go to about two meters in length before you have to start putting condensation drains in, etc. So that largely dictated where I could actually place the burn unit. Right. Okay, so what we're doing is installing the heater. Um, my original plan was putting it over here somewhere, but it's not really worked there because of all this electric gummings. So the new plan is to stick it at the back bulkhead here. Uh, should have sufficient clearance there. We need 30 mil, but we've got way over that at the moment. It's the, the headache will be this side, whether we've got enough to get the, the turn for the pipe as it comes out. But as position goes, I'm quite liking that. So let's crack on. The other thing was actually coming up with some way of getting the exhaust pipe off the hull. Unfortunately, it was a real access problem to the area where the pipe was actually going to track through. So actually in the end it was impossible to gain access so therefore some form of insulation on the exhaust became absolutely vital and to be honest with you it's a real headache and one that we'll come back to in a wee while Whoops, as one might say. But we got there in the end, and the unit itself fitted up was actually quite nice. Our real problems really started once we fired up the unit for the first time. Well, things are certainly rolling around in here tonight. Um, it's actually blowing dogs off leads out there at the moment, and um, it's like it's like actually being out at the sea. Hey, there we go. Um, and it's quite quite nice actually because it's actually really like being out there. Ooh. What are you looking at, hospital face? Anyway, could never resist a bit of a mess around. So, but seriously. Uh, so far I'm quite encouraged. Um, the you know sort of the general sort of unit itself is is quite comprehensive, and as I've often said that really you know if it all goes to a ball of chalk and the unit itself is crap, at least the infrastructure is in place that would sort of convert to something else like a Wabasto or whatever. Unfortunately today, as I say, I've been thwarted by of all things a jubilee clip. It's just not up to the challenge, and you know I need now to get a decent clip. On the exhaust and hopefully I should be able to fire this thing up maybe tomorrow problem is tomorrow it's Sunday or oh, correction today is Sunday um, so that's not really going to be helpful uh, 
Okay, so um, this is where we are up to. There's the pump unit here. The pipes feeding across underneath the pilot berth just under there. Um, my proposal is obviously these are current water, but they're going to be shifted out of there and uh, replumbing the proper water system. Um, so my proposal is to to put the, the fuel source there because it's about the only place I can fit it on the boat and be able to reach it. Unfortunately, which is a complete pain in the butt. But there you go. So we're moving across onto this side. We've got the unit pretty much plumbed in there, as you can see, right up against uh, the back bulkhead. The exhaust feeding through, etc. And the air intake at the moment is just at the bottom there, along with the inline filters. Now, this is about as much pipe as I have at the moment, so I have to get some more pipe ordered, etc. Uh, bit of a pain in the butt, but there you go. Uh, and then all the wiring is currently tucked away, and what will, will happen is uh, down here will be the controller. So having rigged up a temporary fuel tank it was time to give this thing a try. The first task was to prime up the fuel pump. Once the fuel pump was primed it was just a case then of letting the system fire up when it was ready and getting itself up to full power. Unfortunately, um, cut the bloody thing and then inside here, and then realised that really you know, I've almost got an outlet right next to the uh, table leg. Well, we were doing good guns. Um, I was just installing the fuel tank in here. Only to discover that there was another hole in the fucking fuel tank that I put in. And now I have ridicule everywhere. 